Oh, floor panels again. And another Sculptula, the final Sculptula, in fact. Oh, Link, remember the days where the floor just span at you? Weren't those the... No! Well, that's fine. If I defeat this guy, I can get him back. Yay, Hellion Shield! Yay, Goron Tunic! You know, those items that I had before. You know what, Link? Let's go in here without the items. Let's see how far you get. Okay. Flare Dancer. Hi. Now, you could use the hammer on him, but I just don't really see a reason to do that. Let's go around the other side, then. Fine, we'll go around the other side again. Oh, damn it. Ah, I'm not gonna two-cycle him. Or three-cycle him, I guess, is the better. Yeah, actually, you'd have to do that cycle three times, so. Actually, maybe I will. If I get a jump attack on him, I think I'll be caught up. Yeah, there we go. I think I caught up again. That's how damage works, right? Something like that, anyway. Oh, I don't have a shield. <laughs> I was getting ready to defend against that, but I didn't have a shield. Oh boy, oh boy. It's okay. We'll manage somehow. I don't think this is even like anything important. It's a bomb. They gave me a bomb. Oh, he just said, help, big brother. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll do that. That's the plan, now that I have a boss key. Okay, boss key. So, last thing we're going to do is, well, obviously we're going to head to the boss. <laughs> That's simple. Um, I'm trying to think of how many Skoshals I should have right now. I had 52, uh, 53, I should have 58. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, they do show you. If you have all the Skoshals, it'll show, like, that little icon on the map screen that you have them all. Yeah, I beg to differ. I made it this far. <laughs> Maybe I can beat the boss. I doubt it. Okay, now I need to have the tunic on. Okay, Mr. Dragon. Time to play! Well, that's not good. Subterranean Lava Dragon, Volvagia. Not to be confused with another very inappropriate name that people try to give them. So we're going to uh, rip this dragon apart. Yeah, obviously, you just want to 
hit him on the head with the hammer, and then uh, he'll do his phase where he starts to fly around. However, fun fact, if you climb against the wall over here, you actually go down a lot earlier. I did not know this for the longest time. Although I feel like that's not really a... Uh, that's not really something that is, like, very well known. Oh, damn it. Oh, I missed him. I was too far, I was too far away from him. Uh, as for the second phase, and he alternates phases, uh, he'll do an attack where he flies around and drops boulders on you. Which, I don't think you can really do this to avoid the boulders. I think some of them will still hit you. But I just like trying to climb around the sides of these while this is going on. And then at some point, he'll go back in his little hidey hole. And you can do your thing again. Before I do anything, since I am low health. Mm. Oh, ah, seven years old. Mm. Not good. <laughs> uh. Uh, it's all spoiled and nasty. Why did I do that? <laughs> Damn you, milk. <laughs> Damn you. Okay, so once again, uh, all the odd number phases he can end really, really early. Otherwise, he just, like I said, kind of just flies around uh, and just kind of does circles around the arena trying to hit you. I uh, like doing a jump attack. I think one more hit should do it, because I've, I've put a lot of damage in on him. So I just got a text message from the uh, person who runs our internet, or the company that runs our internet. They say my internet's finally back, but uh, we'll see. It's not on yet, but they said I have to restart the modem, which may or may not help. We'll find out. How did he hit me right there? He's dead regardless. And there we go, boss number two has been defeated. Death Mountain and uh, Goron, the Goron race has been saved. Technically, Cacbrico has been saved because they're kind of at the foot of the volcano. Death Mountain never erupted. Cacbrico would just be dead. It'd be a dead village. Also, I like this. You can still uh, Z-target and get info on him while he's dead. I don't know its weak point. Well, it is a skull. That is one thing it definitely is. It's definitely a skull now, so... Not really much to be feared at the moment. Yay, everything looks happy again. You love to see that. You really, really do. Hey, brother. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did. I thank you on behalf of the entire Goron race. You turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. By the way, I, the wild Darunia, turned out to be the great Sage of Fire. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, this must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Hey, brother, take this. This is a medallion that contains the power of the fire spirits and my friendship. The power of friendship compels you!
Or so Hasbro and My Little Pony would have you believe. You received the Fire Medallion. Darunia awakens as a sage and adds his power to yours. Ain't that cute. Don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. So there's like a hierarchy of brothers. You have brothers, sworn brothers, true brothers. That seems kind of confusing to me, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, we are back in the crater. Uh, there are a few other things you can do here, but I have to... Uh, Believe it or not, turn back into a kid uh, before I can do them. Well, I already have the hook shut up. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, but there are some other things I can do. I'm going to namely uh, go over here to this uh, bunch of rocks. Because now that we have the hammer, the hammer can actually get rid of these. Uh, I think they're supposed to be red rocks. You just can't really tell because of the... Uh, light around the area. But we can come in here to another fairy fountain and get another power. Now this is not going to be a magical item, it's going to be basically an extension of one of our uh, meters. Specifically the magic meter. Very useful ability. Definitely make sure you get this before you leave a uh, death mountain. Because, I mean, you could use Balero of Fire to warp back up here, no problem. But I think you really do need it in, like, the upcoming areas, so having this is good. Link, you look kind of drunk on the magic power. Or that spoiled milk you drank earlier. <laughs> now you have twice as much magic power. Well, ain't that just awesome. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. Okay. Weird fairy woman. Also, making some good progress on our heart bar right now. We only have seven more containers to fill out. So we're going to actually climb down the mountain. From the very top. Because there are a few pit stops we need to make along the way. Yep, love using our new hammer. The hammer makes everything better, you know? It makes everything better. Okay, so as we climb down... Like I said, there are a few things we need to do. I feel like it might need to be dark, though. Yes, it does. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Because I think if we just turn it to night, it'll appear straight away. There it is. Uh, yeah, one of those rocks was covering the sculpture, so... need to very quickly uncover that. Uh, that is the first sculpture we need to get before we end this session. I think I'm going to end this session with grabbing the uh, 50 sculptural rewards, since I definitely have more than enough for that now. I'm going to have 60 at the end of this session, so we're more than halfway done. I'd say we are probably more than halfway done with this project now, though, to be fair. Just because we are making a lot of very quick progress. And the more stuff we get now, the less we'll have to get later, so... I think that kind of goes without saying. And over here... What do you know? Another red rock. Boom. Boom. Hello, Skulltula. So let's go to the Skulltula house, which is right here. And then after that, we'll save our game, and I think we'll be done with this session. 
And, oh boy, what a glorious session it was. We beat the forest temple, we beat the fire temple. And next we have the water temple. Uh, but we'll be getting that later. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. Piece of heart! And we've collected three pieces, which means if we get one more, we'll have four. There's three more, seven. Which means there's three containers after that. Uh, we only have 13 more heart pieces to get, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, uh, this has been Slim Kirby. Thanks for watching, guys. What a weird, funny, but still very productive session. That's all I could ask for. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks. Hello, everybody! Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time playthrough. Uh, before we get moving on this session, we're going to actually go back here to where uh, the pedestal of the Master Sword is. Hey, it's our good friend Sheik. What's up, Sheikles? You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this to you for when that time comes. The song to return you to the Temple of Time, the Prelude of Light. Upright, upright, left up. Oh goody, another song for us to learn. Not that I have a problem with that. There's time inside! <laughs> okay, you have learned the prelude of light. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Slim, we shall meet again. So you can actually get that song as soon as you beat the first temple. Uh, I don't think it matters which temple you do. I always thought it had to be the Forest Temple because she says that line about uh, traveling over mountains, but uh, I don't know. It's up to your discretion, I guess. Uh, but yeah, with that out of the way, we can actually return to uh, Child Link, and I am going to do that really quickly uh, because there is something that I need to get from the Death Mountain Crater that I was unable to do earlier just because, well, there was no way for me to get there, so... I'm going to uh, very quickly do that. And I'm also going to give myself the bottle of bugs. Because yes, even in... I played the song wrong. Uh, there we go. Yes, there is a soft soil spot in Death Mountain Crater as weird as that is to believe. But there is, and we got to take care of that, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, but it is hot in here, so we have to be very, very quick about this. Uh, thankfully, we have two minutes, so that should be plenty of time. Uh, but yes, we're going to drop our bugs in the soil. Uh, let me go see if I can get one of the other bugs. Thank you. And with that... Hello, Mr. Skelchula. Nice to see you today. And before we leave, we're also going to plant some magic beans. Now, I could go back to the graveyard and uh, plant in that one soil spot that I meant to. Uh, but I'm actually going to hold off on that. Um, crap. Okay, there we go. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to hold off on that because we'll actually uh, be going in that area as Kid Link later on anyway, so 
I'll be able to get that then and not really have to worry about doing it now. So, going back to the Temple of Time and going to switch to... Oh, I have to switch to adult first. <laughs> That's the first thing I have to do. We're done with our kidling duties. At least for right now, anyway. So yeah, that's a good test to, uh, you know, go back to the Death Mountain Crater, explore it as a kid a little more. Kind of your first test as a young youngster, I guess. You could say. You might say. May also not say. I don't know. It's really up to you, I guess. So we're going to grab our ocarina again, and once again, going to go back to the crater. This time, though, we won't have a time limit because we have our trusty Goron tunic. And, now that we're back, seven years in the future, we have a bean platform. So now we can ride this and see what we have to explore. This is mainly what we came here for. The heart, pe heart piece. Uh, did we actually get a new container with that? We did, awesome. I am definitely okay with that. Um... I don't know why I always mess that song up. It's one of the easiest songs to memorize. Not as easy as all the Kid Link songs, which are just obvious patterns, but... Still, I always just seem to forget them for some reason. I have a very bad short-term memory, I guess. Although that doesn't really help me in this case, because, I mean, I've been playing this game for years, so I shouldn't have that issue. So, I don't know. I'm just a very weird person. We'll just go ahead and say that. And yeah, look, uh, Death Mountain doesn't have the uh, Ring of Fire anymore, which is really, really nice. Uh, so before we go towards the next spear, or I almost said spiritual stone, uh, before we go towards the next temple, I'm actually going to be doing a bit of side quest stuff, and I'm going to be doing one of the more annoying side quests first. Uh, one of the more tedious ones to do. Uh, we're actually going to be taking care of the big post salesman. So across Hyrule Field. You will find, uh, first let me get Epona here, uh, but across Hyrule Field you'll find ten big Poes. Uh, they are in very specific spots. I'm going to link you guys a map in the video description so you can locate them all yourself. Uh, it's the map that I'm going to be using anyway. And essentially, actually let me do this too. I need to actually get rid of this fairy. I could get rid of the bottle of bugs too, but uh, I really don't want to go randomly to find those. Actually, you know what, I'm going to stop being a wuss. I know where I can get some bottle bugs easily. This way I don't have to take as many trips. Okay. So anyway, as I was saying, there's ten big poses across Hyrule Field. Uh, they are in ten specific locations. One's right there. And uh, you have to pretty much destroy it from horseback. Ah, dang it, I missed it. Okay, but yeah, you have to destroy it from horseback. I think you have to anyway. You, there might be a way you don't need to, but uh, I feel like it's the best way to take care of these guys. And essentially, uh, you, it only takes two hits to kill them, so it's not like you have to hit them so many freaking times. You just have to find them. Oh, shoot, there's one right there. Now, what's kind of tricky about this is you have to approach them from a specific way, uh, because if they hit the wall or the border of Hyrule Field, uh, they will disappear. So you kind of need to approach them in a way where you kind of lead them away from any walls or boundaries. Like that guy right there. That guy was kind of uh, annoying to get just because of his location. So I should probably need to approach that guy from the uh, southern side. Uh, but yeah, this is why I say this is one of the more annoying quests. Just because uh, I really, really hate getting these guys. Uh, it's not a lot of fun. And you have to do this ten times. You have to do this with all ten ghosts. Okay, this one should be pretty easy. There we go. 
Do you have to get off the horse? Okay, you do. You defeated a Poe, the ghost. Do you want to catch it in a bottle? Yes. You caught a big Poe. Sell it at the ghost shop for a lot of money. So when you have three bottles, this will really only take four trips. Uh, if you only have two bottles available, it'll take uh, five trips. And if you have only one bottle, it'll take ten trips. So it's definitely recommended to have all your bottles free just to make this as quick and painless as possible. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to be cutting a lot of this footage out. I'm not going to show you me catching every single ghost. Uh, but that's pretty much what you have to do in order to get all the ghosts. Just go to each location. I actually found another one. Perfect. Kill the ghost. Get off your horse. Grab it. Move on until you have full bottles. And then go back to the post salesman. So, um, I'm going to show you when I have three of the pose. And again, I have a map in the video description, so uh, you'll be able to determine where all of them are. No problem. But yeah, I'll see you back at the post salesman when I uh, turn in my first uh, load of ghosts. Okay, so once you actually uh, get some big pose and you're completely full like I am right now, uh, take him back to the Poe Salesman, and then just uh, start giving them to him. Oh. You gotta be, like, right in front of him before it works. And yeah, he'll give you, uh, he'll actually give you 50 rupees. And he'll also add 100 points on your card. And once you get 1,000 points, you actually get the reward. So, that's pretty much what you have to do here. Very simple, not really that hard to do, and that's pretty much the game here. Just uh, bring all ten Poes. Uh, once you get one of the Poes, uh, the, that Poe will never appear in that location anymore, so you literally have to go uh, to all ten points on the map. Uh, there are some really, really annoying ones to get, though. Uh, the one in the top left is really annoying. Uh, the one that's kind of near Kakariko is really annoying. And also the one where uh, it's kind of like in the little valley. I think we saw that one a little bit ago. Uh, the one kind of in the middle of the valley from Lake Hylia to Gerudo Valley. Uh, that one can also be a pain. Uh, also, if you run low on arrows, there are a few places you can restock. Naturally, you can just go to Kakariko and buy arrows there. Uh, which is probably the best way to do it since uh, you get a lot of rupees from this anyway. Uh, but you can also find little uh, grass spots throughout Hyrule Field. I'm trying to find where one of them are. Oh, here they go. Uh, sometimes they can give you 10 arrows, but it's a luck-based drop, so they may not appear. And there's also two more uh, uh, grass bunches near uh, Lake Hylia as well. Uh, so yeah, there are definitely a few ways you can restock, but uh, that's pretty much what you got to do for this quest. Just... Uh, Keep on looking and try to get all the damn ghosts, because... Why not? Why not? Happy hunting, guys. Oh my god, thank god. Oh, that took forever. That's definitely the hardest ghost to get, I feel like, because you have to... You make it spawn by standing on that top part of that one platform. I think there is a way to get it to spawn, like on the bottom part, like if you're under the platform. But it's just, I don't know, it's very finicky and I find it really, really hard to do. I'm sure like a 100% speedrunner and other people of that nature can do that no problem, but I still have issues with that, obviously. Uh, but regardless, we are done. That is the last ghost, thank god. And uh, we can finally move on with this. Now wait to see what the reward is. Uh, <laughs> wait till you see the reward for all of that dumb ghost catching. Oh, oh you brought a Poe today. Hmm. Very interesting. This is a big Poe. I'll buy it for 50 rupees. On top of that, I'll put a hundred points on your card. If you earn a thousand points, you'll be ha be a happy man. Hehe. <laughs> Wait a minute! Wow, you have earned a thousand points. 
Young man, you are a genuine ghost hunter. Is that what you expected me to say? <laughs> because of you, I have extra inventory of big pose, so this will be the last time I can buy a ghost. You're thinking about what I promised would happen when you earned a thousand points. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget. Just take this. And we get the fourth and final bottle of the game. I really hate how that's how you earn the last bottle. Doing a huge bottle side quest. Really, really annoying, but hey. I mean, I guess I can't complain too much. <laughs>